Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise. In this series, we are going to see ratio analysis. In that, we have three divisions. Number one, profitability ratios, turnover ratios and solvency ratios. Okay, we are going to see one by one along with the numerical problem. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to see the first one that is profitability ratios. Let's get into the video. Before we see the numerical problem on ratio analysis, let us try to understand the basic concepts. So, what is the meaning of ratio? A ratio is a mathematical relationship between two items expressed in a quantitative form. That is, uh, the ratio analysis involves the process of computing, determining and presenting the relationship of items and group of items of financial statement. Okay. So, here a ratio is worked out by dividing one number by another number. Okay. So, accounting ratios measures and indicate efficiency of an enterprise in all aspects. Okay. So, ratio analysis is a tool to analyze and interpret the financial statement. Okay. So, here we have different modes of expression of ratios. So, ratios can be expressed in any one of the form. The first one is in proportion. So, proportion means like 1 is to 2 or 3 is to 2 like that. Okay. It can be expressed in proportion. And the second one is in rate or times or coefficient. That is the answer will be like 2 times or 3 times like that. Okay. And the third one is in percentage like 10 percentage, 20 percentage, 50 percentage like that. So, these are the three different modes of expression of ratios. Okay. Now, let us see the different classifications of ratio analysis. See, ratios are classified into several ways. That is, different approaches are used for classifying ratios. So, here I have classified the ratios based on the functions and purpose. So, based on the purpose and functions, uh, ratios are classified into three categories. The first one is profitability ratios and second category is turnover ratios and the third one is financial ratios or solvency ratios. Okay, the solvency ratio again classified into two categories. The first one short term solvency and the second one is long term solvencies. So, these are the three different forms of classification of ratios. Okay, now let us see the different formulas which comes under each and every classification. Let us see the first one that is profitability ratios. See, in profitability ratios, nearly 15 formulas are there. Okay. So, I have taken the first five. These are the five profitability ratios that is gross profit ratio, operating profit ratio, operating ratio, expenses ratio, net profit ratio. Okay. So, these are the five profitability ratios based on sales. Okay. So, let us see the numerical problem based on these ratios. The first one is gross profit ratio. The formula is gross profit divided by sales into 100. The second one operating profit ratio. The formula is operating profit divided by sales into 100. The next one operating ratio. So, for operating ratio the formula is cost of goods sold plus operating expense divided by net sales into 100. So, this is the formula to find out operating ratio. So, there is a difference between operating profit ratio and operating ratio. The next one expenses ratio. For each and every specific expense, we need to apply the specific formula to find out the specific expense ratio. Okay, specific expense divided by net sales into 100. The next one net profit ratio. The formula is net profit after tax divided by net sales into 100. So, these are the 5 profitability ratio based on sales. Now, let us see one numerical problem based on these 5 ratios. Look at the problem. Alston Enterprises present you the following income statement and request you to calculate operating ratio, expenses ratios, operating profit ratio, gross profit ratio and net profit ratio. So, here they have given income statement of Alston Enterprise. Okay. See the income statement. They started with sales. 
sales 10 lakh 50,000 minus sales returns 50,000. This is net sales 10 lakhs. Next, less cost of goods sold 4 lakhs, balance 6 lakhs. This is gross profit. Okay, so net sales minus cost of sales is equal to gross profit. And then non-operating income. If there is any non-operating income, that will be added. Okay, so the profit on sale of investment, income from investment. Okay, so after adding these things, the total amount is 6,60,000. And then any operating and non-operating expense need to be subtracted. Okay, operating expenses. Administrative expense, selling expense, distribution expense. So, total 1,37,000 and then non-operating expenses that is financial expenses, loss on sale of plant and provision for income tax. So, these are the non-operating expenses. Okay, 95,000. Now, after subtracting operating expense and non-operating expense, the residual amount is 4,28,000. This is net profit as per income statement. With this income statement, they are asking you to find out operating ratio, expenses ratio, operating profit ratio, gross profit ratio and net profit ratio. Now, let us see the solution. See the solution. The first one is operating ratio. So, what is the formula for operating ratio? Cost of sales plus operating expense divided by net sales into 100. See the problem. Look at the problem. Cost of sold goods. How much? 4 lakhs. And then operating expenses. So, in this statement, they have clearly mentioned the total operating expense. 50 plus 65 plus 22,000. Total 137,000. So, cost of goods sold 4 lakhs plus 137 divided by net sales. So, net sales means total sales minus sales returns. So, balance 10 lakhs. No, this is net sales. See the solution. See the solution. Cost of sales 4 lakhs plus operating expense 1,37,000 divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100. Okay. So, 5,37,000 divided by 10 lakhs into 100, 53.7 percentage. This one is operating ratio. Look at the problem. We have calculated the first one that is operating ratio. The next one is expenses ratio. For expenses ratio, in this income statement, we have different expenses specifically like administrative expense, selling expense, distribution expense and financial expenses. Okay, For each and every specific expense, we need to find out the specific expense ratio. For that, we are going to compare each and every expenses along with the net sales. The first one is administrative expense 50,000 divided by net sales. 10 lakhs into 100. The next one is for selling expense ratio. So, how much? 65,000. 65,000 divided by 10 lakhs into 100. The next one distribution expense ratio. For that, how much? 22,000 divided by 10 lakhs into 100. The next one financial expense ratio. For that, 35,000 divided by 10 lakhs into 100. Now, see the solution. For administrative expense ratio, Take administrative expense 50,000 divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100 and so 5 percentage. The next one selling expense ratio. Selling expense how much? 65,000 divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100 6.5 percentage. Okay. The next one distribution expense ratio. How much? Distribution expense 22,000 divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100 2.2 percentage. Okay. The next one, finance expense ratio. Finance expense 35,000 divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100, 3.5 percentage. So, these are the different specific expense ratios. Now, let us see the problem. See the problem. So far, we have calculated operating ratio and specific expenses ratios. Okay. Now, let us see the third one that is operating profit ratio. What is the formula for operating profit ratio? Operating profit divided by net sales into 100. So, there is a formula to find out operating profit. So, what is operating profit? Gross profit minus operating expense, you will be getting operating profit. So, after finding operating profit, then you can compare with net sales. That is 10 lakhs into 100, you will be getting operating profit ratio. Now, see the problem. See the problem. 
so what is the formula for operating profit gross profit minus operating expense so in this statement they have clearly given each and every calculation separately so operating expense total amount how much 137000 so gross profit 6 lakhs minus operating expense 137000 you will be getting operating profit so after finding operating profit divided by net sales 10 lakhs into 100 now see the solution see the solution operating profit ratio the formula is operating profit divided by net sales into 100 so what is the formula for operating profit gross profit minus operating expense so gross profit 6 lakhs minus operating expense 1 lakh 37000 so you will be getting 4 lakh 63000 as operating profit and divided by net sales net sales how much 10 lakhs into 100 the answer is 46.3 percentage this is operating profit ratio now see the problem so far we have calculated operating ratio expenses ratios operating profit ratio now we need to calculate gross profit ratio okay so what is the formula for gross profit ratio gross profit divided by net sales into 100 okay so how much gross profit 6 lakhs gross profit divided by net sales how much 10 lakhs into 100 okay now see the solution see the solution gross profit ratio gross profit by net sales into 100 so gross profit how much 6 lakhs divided by net sales how much 10 lakhs into 100 60 percentage so gp ratio is 60 percentage now look at the problem the last one is net profit ratio so what is the formula for net profit ratio net profit divided by net sales into 100 so how much net profit see the income statement net profit is 4 lakh 28000 divided by net sales how much 10 lakhs into 100 see the solution net profit ratio is equal to net profit by net sales into 100 so net profit how much 4 lakh 28000 divided by net sales how much 10 lakhs okay into 100 you'll be getting 42.8 percentage okay so this is the way to calculate profitability ratio based on net sales in the next video we are going to see the continuation of profitability ratio calculation you can find the links in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you